Hello, Eric. Man, what a bad week I had this past week. I sure hope it doesn't carry into this week. I'm really ready for a break. Oh, you're telling me, Miss Sadie. I had a really bad week, too. Well, you see... Uh, I... Yeah, yeah. So, like I was saying, the last four days have been nothing but cold, wet, and miserable. I've been so soaked from the rain, I think my toes are still all pruny. I'm so happy it has stopped for now. Oh, uh, I'm glad it's drying out finally, too. But the other day, I woke up late, and then I accidentally brushed my teeth with hair gel. <laughs> and, well, then when I got to school, I realized my lunch got mixed up with my mom. So I had to eat a bunch of junk food, like a yogurt and fruit and <sighs> cottage cheese. Cottage cheese? What's so wrong with that? It has such a nice creamy texture and it's a great source of protein. Eating cottage cheese is fun. But it wasn't fun when I was waiting for the bus this week and the cars were splashing so much water at me, I almost literally drowned. Oh man, what a bad week. <sighs> what a great week I had, y'all. First of all, there's this amazing lady in the neighborhood who, well, instead of running away from me when I wished her good morning, she actually, uh, whoa, 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 I'm getting some pretty heavy vibes from you two this morning. What's going on here? Well, Mr. Zeke, me and Miss Sadie here are, well, we're happy to hear about the great week you had last week, but ours wasn't so good. It sure wasn't. The only good thing about last week is it's over. Oh, come on. Every dark cloud's always a silver lining. Um, well, is that kind of like good news, bad news kind of thing? Yes, sir. Now, lay it on me, guys. Give me some good news this fine morning. Or, uh, wait, well, you can give me that bad news if you like. Okay, the bad news is... There's no good news. Last week was the worst week ever. Oh, good gravy. Y'all are putting all the focus and energy on the wrong stuff. Okay, Zeke, what exactly are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is y'all got to shine for God. You got to do your best to let others see God's light shine out from you. Oh, no. I lost my shine. I must have dropped it on the way in here. Oh, I sure hope someone finds it for me. I hope it's really bright. Now that you say that, Eric, you usually do have a very bright shine. Boy, howdy does he ever. Oh, but how did I lose my shine? Did it fall off? Or maybe I used it up. Oh, no, 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 it ain't like that. You see, sometimes life is full of tough spots and, well... It it's times like those tough moments in life that can bring us closer to God. The closer we are to God, the more we can show others God's love. We get to be big old flashlights shining out God's love and light to others. What you're saying is even though we might feel discouraged or ready to quit, it's worth it not to give up? I couldn't have said it any better myself. Oh, thank you, Mr. Z. I feel much better now after you explained all this to me. Oh, uh, well, I'm starting to feel like, like, well, I'm ready to take on the world this week. It sure did help to talk through all of that. <laughs> That's great to hear. Now, how about we scurry up to the, lob out in the lobby and grab us a cookie or two before the rest of God's children beat us to them? A cookie, huh? You know, they definitely both shine, but I'm still not sure how bright.